Hey guys, hey friends. Uh, welcome to a more informal setting. I thought we could do a little vlog today, like a day at home, working from home, just doing some of the stuff I need to do, stuff I would do regularly. I'm just like showing you like some of the display because I think in today's video, I'm going to work on organizing a bit of my vanity because I got a new shelf back there and it's still not totally full so I need to I have like a bunch of mess behind me ah I've been exposed I've been exposed I feel like oftentimes when I'm filming I'm just like in perfect frame and then on like either side of me there's just like chaos so we're gonna work on that I also have a zoom um class with Osmotech this is the Perfume Museum. It's in Versailles, France. So I'm not going in person, unfortunately. Not this time. We talked about this in the Guerlain Beauty History episode. I've been meaning to do one of their online perfume sessions. And so this one here is actually about Thierry Mugler, the designer and perfumer who recently passed away. So it's a whole session on him. It's an hour long, so maybe I'll do like a little bit of that also in today's video and then i have a beauty consultation later today it's only a half hour long so that's today's video um i went ahead and made my morning coffee as per usual i love two espresso shots over ice with some soy milk and also with some sugar-free syrup i do prefer like the full sugar like real sugar syrup but it's not that great to have every day, although I, I, although I do think that like having sugar-free is not also not that great. I don't know. I'm doing some sugar-free <laughs> coffee syrup in my coffee, and then I made a smoothie too. That's my breakfast. So this is my smoothie right here. I don't know which is better. Does the lighting change a little bit? I think so. Anyway, this glass is beautiful. It has like this little rim up here. I got these off of Amazon, so. I think they're just gorgeous. They look very fancy. Every time I use them, my husband's like, we're using the fancy glasses. I'm like, yes, we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my breakfast and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, I'm back from breakfast and I've decided I don't want to wear makeup today. I just don't feel like it. I feel like I'm having a good skin day and I just don't feel like it. So what I have on my skin is this here. This is an SPF from U Beauty. It's the Multimodal Defender SPF 30. So this is, it works to act as an SPF, but it also works to um, combat hyperpigmentation and prevent future hyperpigmentation. So it's like two in one, which I like. And then I just put in a little bit of this Benefit Brow Setter, just like a clear brow gel, just to make sure my brows stay in place. And then I used Lips, this lip ointment. I love this. I got this from Sephora, but I think you can also get it from the Lips website. It's called like the 101 ointment. So technically, you could use this 101 ways. I personally prefer it on my lips and sometimes on my cuticles if I get dry. So let me show you, um, oh, uh, remind me later to talk about the upcoming Sephora sale. So I think what I'll do is I'll show you the storage that I have, um, my beauty space, my studio, my office, whatever you wanna call it. And like, maybe we can make a dent. I just want to get some of the stuff off the floor. It's just like so cluttery. It's so easy for me to clutter. It's so easy for me to just do this. I don't know why. I must be like a clutter bug or something because it's so easy for me to just accumulate stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll work on this and then in the background, I will listen to an episode of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or something just as I like do busy work around. So this is my original drawer here. Ikea, of course. Are you really a beauty blogger if you don't have furniture from Ikea? It's debatable. So up here on top is just blush. These are only blushes. What kind of person has this many blushes? I don't know. We have so many. Obviously, we have some 
old favorites, some new favorites, some brands you guys recognize here. Oh, hello, it's me. Um, so this is just blush. Wow, that's crazy. I did go through this the other day. So here is some of the work that I've done. So this here is just highlighters. Clearly, I like blush the most. I mean, I definitely love color. Eyeshadow, blush are my two tops and like nail polish too. But this here is just highlighter. I mean, in comparison, it's quite modest, you know? It's still a lot more than any normal human should have, but if we're comparing it to like other categories here, highlighter clearly is the more modest selection. I love this one here from Guerlain, the Meteorite Pearls. These are so nice and they smell amazing too. And this one here from Clé de Peau, it's gorgeous. The compact. This was from the holiday collection, but they come out with these like normally. Like this is just part of their permanent collection, but this one here is limited edition. But normally it's just like their regular highlighter. It has like a very long name too. It's like face illuminating powder, etc. It's a highlighter. Okay, so down here we have bronzers and face powders. I wasn't exactly certain how to divide things up so for some reason bronzers and face powders made sense to me this is a contour stick i think from westman atelier yeah contour stick so it's in the bronzer category and then i have this by terry face powder as like the divider between the two oh, i also have these nars face powders over here so i think this makes sense to me I don't know, sometimes like different categories of products make sense. So obviously things will move around and not stay like perfectly in place. But this is basically what this looks like. Apparently face powders. It's funny, I, I used to think that I really didn't like face powders, but clearly I do if I have so many. Down here is foundation. So this is all foundation, my God. Okay, foundations, and then I have like backups of cushions. I have some samples here. I also have primers back here. Uh, not primers, uh, setting sprays. So the Chanel Essence Mist. It's more like a face mist, really. But then this one here from Benefit is really good. It's like, it just helps the makeup last longer. The Air Flash Classic. What's this? Oh, it's from uh, Clarins. This is like a setting spray too. And then across here, this is the new display. I feel like half the time in my videos, you can't even see it very well. So I need to like move over or something because I think it looks nice. But here's what I have going on so far. So here is just eyeshadows. Oh, I think I missed a drawer. Did I miss a drawer? No, I was just confused. Okay, so this is just eyeshadow. And the problem here is that the drawers are very deep. So it's very easy to just like lose something back here. So I need to keep that in, in mind when I'm using this. So I decided to go by brand for the eyeshadows. So we have Chantecai over here, Dior, of course. I've got some, my friend sent this to me. I haven't tried it yet, but um, this is the Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette, Imperial Topaz, okay. Then the Natasha Denona, Glam, Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I actually like this one. I don't like the mini ones, but I like that one. Then we have like a little bit of a mishmash. We've got uh, some little oldies, but goodies, little MAC shadows, like the loose pigments, super bright. Some Viseart, some Bobbi Brown. Oh, this is Dior too, but this is the backstage one. Feels like it's its own category of product. This candle here, Laura Mercier sent it to me. Find your light, how sweet. And then of course I put the obligatory uh, diptych candle holder. Again, if you are a luxury beauty YouTuber and you don't transform your old luxury candles into makeup holders, are you really a luxury beauty YouTuber? You can get your license revoked. Um, Givenchy sent this to me. It's a box of more Prism Libre powders, but the box itself looks like a Prism Libre powder. Isn't that cute? 
I thought it was really cute. So I just put it like in the, in the background here. Okay, now this is um, the money shot, as they say. This is all of my Chanel eyeshadows here. So I put my cream shadows. I have a lot of pink ones, apparently, my goodness. Um, so we have like some older palettes. Remember this one? Wasn't this like a holiday palette from like, I want to say like five years ago, four years ago? I really like this one. And then we just have a million of these little quads here. The holiday one I decided to keep in the box. Honestly, keeping it in the box might be a better idea because you could just know exactly what it is. Like, what's this one? I don't know. I have to like take it out of the pouch to find out that it's a single Cuivre Lame. Oh, that's like one of the lion ones, I think. Yes, one of the lion head ones from like three holidays ago. So maybe keeping the box is a better idea. Anyway, this is just what I've done so far. And obviously this is like the Le Beige Nine Shadow Palette peeking through. And then there are just eyeshadow palettes as far as I can see. And move over, move over to Tom Ford. We've got some NARS, Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is Pat McGrath, Cicely, Victoria Beckham, more Natasha Denona, just the singles. I like this one a lot. Wispin Atelier. Uh, what was this? Uh, I forget her name. Olivia Palermo. I love this palette here. It's so luxurious. Oh, it's so luxurious. So beautiful. I'm not doing a very good job of cleaning. Now am I? No. Okay. More singles. Oh, uh, these Armani ones are so good. These liquid shadows, Victoria Beckham, Shiseido. Okay, okay. I need to just put you guys down, put Buffy on in the background and clean up over here and put it into these drawers here. Hey, okay, so this looks great. I need to like pose myself when I'm filming. That way you can see this in the background, but the drawers look better. I didn't finish everything, but I made a lot of progress. So this was great, was great before. We've got this. We've got this. There's still like a lot of room back here and sometimes i just can't quite figure out like what order i want you know like what drawers like what to put in there so here i have a bunch of chanel pochettes here let me move you Oops. 
down here. That is my microphone and other technical equipment down there. And this drawer is still empty, so I can still put more stuff here. And then down here, these are like extras, I wanna say. So I've got backups on backups. I've got little bags, pushets. I have samples here, um, over here, more bags, pouches, etc. So it's starting to look a little bit better. The clutter, it's still there, but it's much, much less than before. And then if we go over here, this is just like my little basket of technology. And also I found a little ornament here, but this, this looks a lot better. This here is just samples, mostly perfume. So I might keep that there for now. I might do something else, but there's progress. And if you look behind me up there on my shelf, there is like a bunch of stuff up there I need to sort, mostly perfumes. I think that red one is a pouch and then there's a bag there. There's still work to be done. There's more progress to be done, but I've done progress, which is good. Um, I wanted to mention, okay, so I did the Thierry Mugler online Zoom. It was really fun. It was with the Osmotec. So that's the Perfume Museum in Versailles, France. It's out, outside of Paris. And they just talked about the history of Thierry Mugler. I loved it because like I love like my beauty history series. So it was basically that. And they talked a lot about Angel. The Angel fragrance, not really my favorite or my cup of tea, but I can understand, you know, the significance. Apparently it was the first modern gourmand perfume and i love gourmand perfumes so i have you know an appreciation for it it's not for me but i'm glad it's there so it was a lot of fun and i'd like to do an episode on mugler in the future and i also want to do one on um andre leon Talley, but i'm waiting for a few books i ordered some books because he wrote a couple autobiographies so i'm waiting for those but those are just some ideas that I have for the future. And uh, I wanted to tell you that there's going to be a Sephora sale very soon. It's going to be the first week of April. I will do a whole video in like a week or two, just talking about it, warning you and like giving you the dates. I think it starts the 1st of April to the 7th. Don't quote me, something like that, but I'll, I'll do a video with the dates and my recommendations, suggestions, things like that. And. I've actually started building my cart. Of course I have. And I just wanted to show you, I sort of just like added everything and then I can just like remove things as I go. So let me just show you what I have. Okay, so first up, I added a couple of Tom Ford palettes, of course. This one here, Sous la Table, it just looks like a beautiful, like neutral palette. I think that's what the best way I can describe it. And then Honeymoon. I've just heard a lot of people say Honeymoon is great. So I'm adding those. And then the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It's just like super glue as a setting spray. I also added the Benefit one. Both of these are great for setting sprays. I won't get both, I'll just get one, but I'm adding it now. And then I saw this as like a sea salt spray to add like beachy waves. I don't know if I'll get it or not, but I, I, I might take it out, but I'm adding it now. And then the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I've heard this one's really good too. So I'm only gonna get one setting spray, I think, but I'm, I'm gonna add both just in case. And then Rare Beauty. I wanna try some Rare Beauty. I wanna get one liquid highlighter and then one blush. So I might get those ones. And then I added this for some reason, the NARS Manoy Body Glow. It smells so good, but like, I don't wear body makeup, but I just added it just in case. And then, another Tom Ford palette. This one's De La Creme. I think it's close to Sous La Table in like the nudie, beautiful colors. And then I added a second <laughs> Rare Beauty highlighter. I'll pick one. I want a liquid highlighter and liquid blush from the brand. So I'll just pick one. And then the uh, Living Proof, just like dry shampoo spray. It's really good. One of my hobbies in life is to just add several items to a shopping cart and then close the tab without ever actually buying anything uh but i will buy maybe not everything there but like a few items i don't i won't buy all three tom ford palettes maybe one maybe two because the sephora sale will be 20 percent off i kind of wish it was 25 just saying things are getting more expensive 
give us more of a discount. But yeah, this is my vlog. Thank you for organizing with me, organizing my vanity. I don't know if it was satisfying to watch because I did do some progress, but it wasn't like everything was done. But I don't know, I did some work. I did some work at home. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I talk about nothing but luxury beauty, luxury makeup, and I have my beauty history series where I talk about a different icon in like the fashion or beauty world and basically just do a documentary on them. You can watch it or you can treat it like a podcast and just do other activities while you listen in the background. Either way, I hope you take the time to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you like this type of like, let me know if you like this type of relaxed, casual, stay at home with me type of vlog. I will definitely try to do more vlogs and like, especially now that it's getting a little bit nicer, it's a little bit more encouraging to be outside. Like right now it's really cold. So yeah, maybe once it gets warmer, I can find more things to do in the city and take you along with me. But anyway, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.